everybody, this is Kokoram in Mass Effect 3. Welcome back. We're going to talk to everybody and see how they think about um, our progress so far. So we're going to talk to Garrus, if he's anywhere. He's here. I know, Primark. I'm seeing the same numbers myself. They don't oh, look they? good. We have to turn this around and fast. Well, you can trust Shepard, sir. If anybody can get the Krogan to cooperate, it's her. Yeah. She's an old friend of Erdnot Rex. Let's just hope friendship still counts for something in this war. I'm oh, sure yeah. it will, sir. Hey, sexy. Garrus. Didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Hmm. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm Oof. ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. <laughs> and lots of them. Yeah. Can't argue with that. Yeah, so is this the part where we shake hands? Oh. Wasn't sure about the protocol on reunions. Oh. Or if you even still felt the same way about me. Oh, okay. The scars are starting to fade. I remember they drove you wild. <laughs> <laughs> But I can go out and get all new ones if it'll help. Let's end. No, I'm still interested. <laughs> Always for you, Garrus. You've been with me since the start. If I could romance you in the first game, I would have done it. Let's keep going. I haven't forgotten our time together. Well, I've been doing some more research on human customs. Oh my. I didn't want. Oh. Oh, a little kiss on the cheek. That's the protocol on reunions. The vids mentioned it might go something like that. I had hoped it would. I mean, I didn't know if... Oh? I can't promise how things will work out. Not with this war. But I missed you, Garrus. I thought about you a lot. Glad to know my romantic, um... <clears throat> Skills made an impression no. because it's going to take more than reapers to come between this cross species liaison. <laughs> Speaking of which, you said you're the expert advisor on reapers now? Indeed, yeah. It's not as impressive as it sounds. I ruffled some feathers, so they gave me a token title along with the token task force, so I'd shut up. Yeah. How'd you manage that? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Indeed. Then they put you in charge. Hmm. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre Just and like C-Sec agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. Won't be easy. Yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember. We're oh. in this together. Yeah, we are. And if it ends with both of us dying in a giant explosion taking out a Reaper, remember I took the kill shot. <laughs> oh, good Something else you want to talk about? Yeah, let's talk about pa Palavan. You said your family was there. You mentioned you still had family on Palavan. My father is there. Sister, too. Yeah, How long's it been okay. since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. Oh. Yeah, they'll be all right, hopefully. I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get just as old. Yeah. Pretty soon, blind hope is all we'll have left. And I hate being blind. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Uh, you, you're always a straight shooter, be honest. I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Yeah. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. No doubts? After what's happened to Palavan, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But yeah. humans want to save everyone. In this war, that's not going to happen. Mm. 
Yeah, tell me about your task force. So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After what happened to you out there in Batarian space, I yeah. knew the time was running out. For all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. Oh, he used to work for C-Sec, didn't he? I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. To put it mildly. Mm. But he still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one, was a friend of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector base. I'm not sure even I'd believe it. Yeah. I had to admit that parts of it sounded crazy, meeting Vigil, talking to Sovereign on Vermeer. But my father just listened. Oh. It's what he did in his days at CSEC, putting together all the pieces. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. Wow. The Reapers were coming. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. Right. Yeah, any results? What'd you do with him? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. Yeah. We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. You can only hope. All right, the Primarch. So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. Mm. And if he did try, well, we'll just find another Primarch. Oh, Garrus. Yeah, maybe you can do you. I noticed generals saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of secession are you these days? Let's not go there. Why not? I've seen you in action. Think about it. Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavan when this is over. Your confidence is inspiring, but it'll have to be someone who knows how to hold a hammer. <laughs> right, nothing more, Garrus. Thank you for talking to That's me. That's all for now, Garrus. But stay close. We've got some catching up to do. Oh my! Do you know where to find me? And this time, I can afford the good stuff. There are a few perks to being an expert Reaper advisor. Oh. Deal. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Lovely. See you later so we can get that heat sink sorted. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Jeez Louise. Oh. I need to get my heat sink. You're positive you don't want to come over and talk? No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Garrus? I'll be fine, Leora. Just gathering some thoughts. All right. You okay, Leora? Something on your mind? Just old memories. Okay. I spent a few weeks on Palavin South Peaks when I was very, very young. A Turian there teased me a little, saying that the mountains went on forever. I remember believing him. When I looked up at Palavin from its moon, I saw those same mountains burning. Wow. Let's see. Um, I'm not sure what to make of Javik. I approached him while we were traveling in different system, but he wasn't very intended, inclined to talk. What Lily does say concerns the Reapers and our possible failure. It's not simply... Okay. Alright, Alliance. Ugh. Ugh, check this implant. She's got jammed into her face. Sh she's awake, Cerberus. Do you know who you are, inintelligible? Do you know how much goddamn trouble you're in? Hey, ease up. Listen, you're in trouble, and I'm not gonna lie, but these mean you gotta work something out. If you can help us, explosion. Ah, cat, you okay? I am. <sighs> 
Holy hell, she's dead. What? The whole front of her face is gone. Same kind of ocu ocular thing. Oh, wow. So they've literally rigged up all their guys. That is seriously messed up. Oh, let's have a look. Okay, um, store discount bonus. Destroy the remains for the stores. Scan the remains for new technology. Oh, discounts. But yeah, we'll go for the... Let's use this one. And then this one's like... Use the kit to increase the weapon's terminal clip. Or increase weapon damage. I think... Damage is always nice. So we got increase in ammo capacity, weapon damage, and power speed. Always Please nice. Enjoy your day. Nice. Alright, so anywhere else that we oh, oh no, these places are Right, so this is crew deck. I think he's in the shop here, isn't he? Right, okay, let's go to talk to Javik. Have you seen our newest crew member? Oh? You mean the biggest story in 50,000 years that I can in no way talk about? So yeah, I've seen him. Just wondering. Okay. Boosmik was that. She has got some curves. Oh. Do we need to talk, Commander? No, carry on. Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. Okay. Oh wait, he's in the he's in the previous Kurrigan room, isn't he? You're saying they survived into this cycle? Yes. We called them collectors. Oh. They fought for the Reapers. For a long time no one knew they were Prothean. And when did you realize? Shepard had no choice but to kill the ones she encountered. They were all indoctrinated, and had been for a long time. I'm sorry. I am grateful. It was an act of mercy. Yes. I suppose it was. Yeah. I am feeling better, Commander. I stand ready to fight. Do not be concerned about me. The years in stasis have only made me hungrier to fight the Reapers. Perhaps later, Commander. Okay. So, we can pick him next time, mission. So, that'd be interesting to see what abilities he's got and everything else. Uh, Adams, you got anything interesting? Nothing to report, Commander. Alright then. Let's uh, go downstairs and sort out some of our equipment now. Shuttle bear! Right. I'm gonna stand up a little bit. Play with this. Alright, so we got supplies. Not gonna. I'm gonna actually go to the store. If I need to buy anything, because like he said, it's more costly here. Um, casual wear. Oh, wait, we've got different casual. Oh, okay. So that's a nice one. No, it's like an emerald. Like, a. Uh, okay. Wait, what's the... Oh, wait, is it more... Oh, it's more hulkier. Um, it's a nice dress, but I think, like, this one's quite nice. Ah, oh, this is a Cerberus thing. Never mind. Um, anything nice on here? Nope. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Save and exit. Alright. Um, oh, look, lovely. Look at this. Ah, I love outfits like this. Oh, excuse me. So we've got weapon upgrades. Ah, uh, what do we have? So we have... The Avenger? No. Okay. Let's customise our weapon. That's a new shotgun, isn't it? Yeah, that was a new shotgun. And then a new sniper rifle. Yep. Not doing that one. Um. Sweet. Okay. Oh, wow, look at that. Confirm. So I don't really want that. Oh, no. I don't want that one. But let's, um... Let's modify. Oh, okay. Look 
Okay, let's do that one. Oh, okay, increase the magazine. More shots before reload. Oh, nice, okay, so... Lots of bullets shot. Just one for now. All right, then. Oh, hello. Hey there. Hey, little villa. You good boy. Oh, God, 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 stop gyrating like that. Oh, wait, if I go, go, I gotta go this way. What's this? Is this another table? We'll see how that goes in the next mission. Hey, how's it going? Ooh. Everything okay with the shuttle? Yeah. Took a bit Just of a double checking the mission. inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT 47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. Yeah, do you ever take a break? I always see you down here working your ass off. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. Exactly. What about your waking hours? Any R and R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well, too much time to think. Don't work too hard. I appreciate hard. your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Hmm. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know, there are views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Do it for me. Yeah, come on, do it take for me. Take some time off on the Citadel, Steve. As a favor to me. If you put it that way, how can I say no? Take it you easy. Can. Ah. Take it easy, buddy. I know we're facing the Reapers and we're facing... Oh! <laughs> buddy. You, buddy. Right. Stay here, buddy. All right, let's see. Um, hello. That Primarch's got some real cojones. He does. Well, we need him. Hey. 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 Oh. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see. Oh no! Nope. I clicked too quickly. All right. Next. Next one. I need to go to. Uh, Shepard's cabin, no, this one. I need to go here. Found something suspicious in a minute. Yeah, sure. Commander, are you alright? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I do not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems, but thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Okay. Grissom Academy is requesting help. Oh. The Reaper Invasion Front will hit them soon. Yeah, we better go over there. Okay. Well, we know about Grissom Academy. Let's get over there. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call, so normally I'd say we don't need to do anything. Uh -huh. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Yeah. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured oh, you to a collector. That one. Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy is being evacuated, but I believe they're still in danger. Nice work. Good catch. Maybe you belong here after all. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth good investigating. Good work. Jeez, take it a compliment. Disinformation. Trainer, good catch. Thank you, Commander. Meaning, shut up and take a compliment. Jeez, Louise. <sighs> no, but she did a great job. Now we can help Gruesome Academy. Oh, God, did I trip over? Hey, Joker. Hey, Commander. Check out my co-pilot. <laughs> I bet he's having a 
freaking field day. I bet he's like, oh my god, I've got a girlfriend. I've got a girlfriend. <laughs> I got a girlfriend. I was dating a ship, but now I can date somebody that's physical. This is amazing. So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? <laughs> Come on, Commander. Don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was gonna install herself into a sexy robot body, oh. do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that! I would've baked a cake! <laughs> I am right here, Jeff. Oh. Yes, you are, Edie. <laughs> yes, you are. God, the flirtation is over 9,000. Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. Yeah. There's a whole lot of crap out there and needs a bullet between the eyes. Plus, we might need something calibrated. Ha! Commander. Edie, let's talk. Hello, Shepard. Hello. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. Oh. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions. Mm. If I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has series design oversights. At the moment, it appears adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. Uh, probably. Calm down, Joker. Jeez, I'll be please. over here. Flying the ship. <laughs> Look at this be. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Oh my god. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Um... Yeah, like, if you have to. Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why yeah. are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. Yeah. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer. Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? You choose... Yeah, choose your own path. Become your own person. Only Come on. you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? Yeah. If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. Ah. <sighs> Lovely. All right, keep me informed. Wait, did she just give me other... God, it's so they can flirt more. Let's answer yes, some of your Shepard? questions. Actually, you can answer some of mine. Body capabilities, yeah, go on. Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. It's optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. <laughs> I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh, I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. Oh. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. Ah, okay, so keeping yourself alive. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. Okay. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me. 
even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. Aww, I am not, that's but nice this changes my perspective. I like it. Yeah, of course. It's made you seem more like a person. And they like it. And they I didn't like realize it. you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. <laughs> oh my god. That was a joke. Of course it was. But I love Shepard's face. She was like, you got, you're joking, aren't you? And it's like, yeah. Ah, Edie, your humor. How did you and Joker make it out of dry dock to rescue us? Oh, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI. So the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands. So they often brought him on board under guard. Uh... Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of operator control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out the airlock. <laughs> Carry nice. On. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Wow. This has been a nice couple of minutes, basically, talking to the crew, going around and doing stuff. Cranky. It feels like there's a Father, lot. You have oh. a message from Major Olenko. He must be feeling better. Oh, Major Olenko. Oh, is he all right? Um, come see me. I have something important to discuss with you. It's sensitive, so we need privacy. I'll arrange it. I'll arrange for that soon. In the meantime, come see me on the Citadel in a, a place named Purgatory. I have a few ideas for your war. Okay, urgent messages from Hackett. Commander, there's an Alliance researcher working on Citadel named Dr. Dr. Gar Garrett. Basin, I need you to meet with him right away. Dr. Basin has un uncovered new information about Reapers that could have direct bearing on the war. I'm... Okay, nice. Please visit him at the laboratory on the Citadel at once. Cathedral. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Brr. Right. Shepard, I've, I've, I've called and sent messages, but I've gotten no response with Earth's comm systems out. I don't expect this will get through, but either way, I've heard I've heard rumors the Normandy docked here at the Citadel. Are you alive? I am Walter Merrill Hospital. Oh, I'm at I'm at Merrill Hospital under the say under the name Turner Narsana. Narsana. Please please excuse the mica and emails encryption. My line Workers otherwise organizing location when I'm not in good health. Uh, we should meet before the circumstances force us apart again. Faint. Oh, Fane's at the doctor's? All right, we better get to the Citadel, it looks like. Uh, oh, Caden Lenko. Hey, hey, Shepard. Though some of the condition of my medical miracle and dumb luck, I survived and be beaten took on a Mars. The doctors say I'm still not ready to be released, but I'm ready... I, but I'd really like to see you if you can spare time. Uh, Cancel Odina offered me to be a spectre. Steam thinking about whatever I should accept. Stop my room at the hospital. All right. Sender blocked. Uh, Commander, my name is Rondun Bro. I'm a special tax and recon. While, while some still have concerns about your past and activities of service, many of us in... As I took your warnings about the Reapers seriously, I'm reaching out to you because I have information and the agents with significant Reapers. 
if you have time to meet me at the Citadel. Okay, so there's a lot of things to do at the Citadel. Aral Tirlak. I have a bit permission to show you, Shepard. Oh, it's Arya. Arya Talak. I have a permission for you, Shepard. You won't want to pass up. I'm in the nightclub at the Kadori. Don't make me wait too long, Arya. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's go!